Welcome to today's podcast. We're spotlighting CVE 2025 2281, a critical vulnerability in Cisco's Identity Services Engine, or ISE, that allows unauthenticated remote attackers to execute arbitrary code as root. Disclosed in late June 2025 and updated through July, this flaw poses a serious risk to any organization running impacted versions of the software. The affected products are Cisco Identity Services Engine, ISE, and Cisco ICE Peace, specifically versions 3.3.0, 3.3 patch 1 through 6, 3.3 patch 2, 3.3 patch 3, 3.3 patch 4, 3.3 patch 5, 3.3 patch 6, 3.4.0, and 3.4 patch 1. These solutions handle policy enforcement, network access control, and device profiling, making them a critical component of many enterprise security architectures. CVE 2025-2021 falls under the category of improper neutralization of special elements in output used by a downstream component, often called an injection vulnerability. In this case, insufficient input validation and unsafe deserialization in a specific ISE API endpoint enable an attacker to inject malicious data that results in command execution on the host operating system. Researchers at the Zero Day Initiative initially reported a dangerous deserialization flaw in a specific ISE API. By sending a crafted request containing maliciously formed objects, an unauthenticated attacker can trigger remote code execution with root privileges. Security expert Bobby Gould publicly demonstrated a working exploit, showing how simple it is to chain the injection payload into system commands. No valid credentials are needed, making the exposure wide open to internet-facing or improperly segmented ISE deployments. This vulnerability demands immediate action. Cisco has released patches for all affected versions, so administrators should upgrade to the latest ISE release without delay. In addition, we recommend restricting API access to trusted networks, applying strong segmentation, and monitoring logs for unusual deserialization errors. That wraps up our coverage of CVE 2025-2081. Stay safe, stay patched, and join us next time for more security insights.